What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys coming at us fast here. Starting out 2023 with some epic news right here. Kind of excited, kind of, uh, well I guess I'm fully excited. I'm, I'm intrigued, I'm anxious to see what these things are going to come to fruition and what exactly they're going to be. But I'm going to dive into what we have today, man. I'm very excited and this does come to us from my man Wrestling Figure News Network on Instagram if you guys want to go follow him. Great source of news most of the time. Pretty legitimate guy, and I'm excited to get into this, man. So diving into the news, man, if you guys were unaware, maybe, I, I guess, a couple weeks ago or about Ringside Fest, we had some action figure reveals to us, you know, with some render images or what have you, and it was all about the WWE Elite Greatest Hits Wave Number 2 coming at us. You guys know that Wave 1 did feature this past year. We had Jake the Snake, Bam Bam Bigelow, The Rock, Undertaker, Rey Mysterio, and Rikishi. The WWE Elite Greatest Hits Wave, obviously, is Previously released Elite WWE action figures from Mattel being re-released, upgraded usually with double jointed arms, interchangeable hands, maybe a different fix up here and there to the head sculpt. You know, it just kind of varies character by character. But we did get a couple of reveals just the other day or a couple weeks ago from WWE Elite Greatest Hits Wave Number 2. As you guys know, they did showcase two of the figures that will be featured in that Wave 2, which turned out to be, of course, King Harley Race, which originally was released in the WWE Elite Flashbacks. Walmart exclusive wave and then we of course had the WWE Elite Blue Tista figure that was released not too too long ago and I think what Elite Series 33 or something like that however today we have the rest of WWE Elite Greatest Hits Wave 2 released to us or not released but it was kind of, it's like on one of those mock-ups where it's like coming soon and it's like the full wave we did get a how they're going to be packed the quantities and the numbers of the figures that are going to be packed into the box but the remaining four figures were revealed I'm going to dive into each one of them kind of give my thoughts and possibly what the figure could be, what it could represent. And I'm going to be honest with you, on a couple of these, I'm kind of lost, and I don't really know what I'm thinking, but I'll get into it with you, so... Let's shut the hell up and get into it, man. Starting out first, we have Diamond Dallas Page adding to our greatest hits wave. Now, this one is very crazy to me because he uh, he uh he's had two WWE Elites that are very, very similar. Now, if you guys do remember, he had an Elite back in Series 36 that was, the you know, like the Kenny Omega style hair, like the long curly hair. It had the smiling head sculpt. It had like the, you know, the entrance vest. And then also back in the day in the Legends wave, it was basically that figure re released right in that main Elite 36 wave. We had like the throwback version in the Legends wave originally. Then they came back with the Elite 36 figure. And then not too, too long ago, back in WWE Elite Series Legends Series 10, the Target exclusive, we got the, you know, the Shinsuke Nakamura pants, short hair, Diamond Dallas Page. So this is what kind of troubles me about this figure is, are they going to re-release this Elite 36 Diamond Dallas Page for a third time? Are they going to give him new accessories? Very intriguing. Very intriguing to say the least because why would you want the same exact elite for the third time you know what I mean I know it would have interchangeable hands it would have the you know the diamond hands and it would have like probably a true effects head sculpt possibly a brand new head sculpt the gear would be slightly different or they just pump out the same gear just kind of a bit of a head scratcher here on the selection of DDP I don't know why they would do that but I guess anything's possible I highly doubt they would re-release the Legends 10 diamond Dallas page when first of all that figure just came by and I don't think it's that expensive in the aftermarket so I don't you know but I don't know what creates the criteria for figures getting re-released I don't know if they've even given us any insight into what the criteria is to get re-released so Diamond Dallas Page is the first figure next up is going to be the Undertaker again we're getting the Undertaker again here in Diamond da in Diamond Dallas we're getting the Undertaker in Diamond Dallas we're getting the Undertaker re-released again in the Elite Greatest Hits wave you guys know that he was a part of wave number one it was basically his Elite One figure redo or his Elite 8 figure redone, I'm sorry. It was basically his Elite 8 figure redone, and that one wasn't bad whatsoever. I actually like the re-release version uh, a little bit better there, and I don't know what this could be, you know? I mean, I, what what of his figures is, like, super sought after? I know that we have the Defining Moments, but that was basically a re-release of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. The Boneyard match, Elite 85, was too recent, and it's already had a re-release. Maybe the Elite 55 Undertaker, you know, with the big evil pants. 
But we did just get that ringside exclusive that's virtually the same, except it does have a different head sculpt. I know it has a dead man ankle in the pants, and that's the Elite 18. Maybe they're, re re they're redoing the Elite 18, but the Elite 55 was basically a re-release of the Elite 18. So I don't know what they're going for here. We've had three different purple versions of, of Undertaker, so I doubt, you know, they, they pull, remember that re-release? They had the Elite 23, then they did the, what, the Elite 47B or that Lost Legends wave that was just randomly out of, you know, out of freaking nowhere. So, I mean, they're... I don't know. I, I don't know what to think about this Undertaker. I guess it could be Elite One, potentially. But there's so many different Undertaker figures that it could be. It's just, I'm just trying to give some different potential options for this guy, but that's really all I could come up with. If you guys have any ideas there, I would like to hear them down in the comment section below, but a lot of Undertakers we've had redone and stuff like that, so that one's a bit of a head-scratcher for me also. Next up in the wave is going to be Shawn Michaels. Now, a lot of people speculating that this could be a whale of a bunch of different figures. Now, I don't think it would be the defining moment Shawn in the WrestleMania 25 gear, because we basically just got that figure slightly repainted in the WrestleMania Elite line with the WrestleMania 26 gear. Now, I know it's not the 25 gear, and they could add all the bells and whistles with the coat and the vest and all that different stuff. I could see it being the defining moment, Sean, there. Maybe the Elite 7 Sean, the DX Sean that, you know, is kind of... I'd say the Elite 7 Sean is really hard to come by. The Elite 3 and the Elite 7 are both hard to come by. So I could definitely see it being one of those. But a lot of people are speculating that it could be one of the tights, Shawn Michaels. You know, it could be the DX ringside exclusive. I don't know if they're putting ringside exclusives in this deal. I don't know if you can get ringside exclusives into the Greatest Hits wave because then it's not ringside exclusive anymore. I don't think it would be the other ringside exclusive because... Oh, I guess I guess you could say that that's not true because the Legends figure that just re released or is hitting target right now with the Ken Shamrock and the Dingo Warrior, that figure is very, very similar to to the ringside exclusive. It's not the exact same, but it is quite similar to that figure. So maybe that doesn't really hold a candle in the conversation. But one that I honestly hope it is, is going to be the WrestleMania 14 Shawn Michaels that we got way back in the day in the same series. The WrestleMania 30, you know, it's the same wave as the Bret Hart, you know? So I don't know about that one. I personally would like to see the WrestleMania 14 Shawn. I love that head sculpt. I think it's the best Shawn head sculpt they've made, or at least it's one of them for sure. But I don't know. I mean, there's lots of options there. Elite 7, Elite 3, WrestleMania 14. They could even do some other ones. So We'll have to, I guess, wait by and see what they decide to go with. And again, I don't think they'd really do the Elite 23 again either because we got that in that Lost Legends series. So are they going to re-redo it? I don't know. You know, with the European Championship, I just, I don't know. I don't know. These are all questions that remain to be seen, but I'm just giving speculation here. But the one that I am personally most excited for is going to be Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is in this Greatest Hits Wave number two. Now, did they see the Instagram post that I put up talking about them redoing Seth Rollins? I posted this to Instagram in June of 2022. So I guess it was, what, six or seven months ago. And the answer I got the most was Elite 45 Seth Rollins. I got like 3,500 likes, tons of shares. People were super excited for this. So I think it could be the Elite 45 Seth Rollins. At least that's what all the speculation points to. You're talking about removable gauntlets on the hands, updated formula. Seth Rollins, new head sculpt, entrance vest, in, you know, interchangeable hands, maybe Seth Rollins, WWE Championship. I know they'd be redoing the previous figure, so you could give him the WWE Championship, throw on the Seth Rollins side plates on the, on the title, update the formula to the current Seth Rollins formula. I mean, there's so many great things you could do for this figure, man. I, oh my god, it's gonna be so nice. I could have a hairy torso or, you know, chest hair and stomach hair on the Seth Rollins Elite 45. This is easily the one I'm most excited for because it's a figure, it's one of my favorite Mattel figures ever, and then you're getting it redone and revamped. We literally just talked about this in my massive Seth Rollins collection video the other day. This is the one that I'm most excited for, man. I truly do think it's gonna be Elite 45 Seth Rollins, and that makes me excited, man. That has me giddy grinning ear to ear on what this could be so that is going to be excellent but that is the full wave man i think it's a you know it's not the a lot of people were bummed out about it that i saw online not excited for the wave. but you're looking at undertaker sean michaels seth rollins batista king harley race and ddp i guess it's just going to depend on what these figures are exactly to really tell you about the wave but i'm excited for them you know but blue tista did we need that absolutely not a, a ddp again you know even though we've had the figure twice don't really want to see that king harley race is a stud 
Seth Rollins is a stud. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what exactly they are and all those different things, man. But that is our WWE action figure news. Just a quick little wave reveal. Also tonight, I am going to Birmingham Monday Night Raw sitting row three so if you guys see me at the show or you want to speak or whatever the case is man please come up and speak i would greatly appreciate it i'd love to you know talk for a few minutes or whatever the case is man take a picture whatever you guys want to do sounds good to me but i wanted to get on here talk about the news and get everything out there but that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below on what figures you hope these are. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. And of course, I get, I get what? Don't back down or we will what? We'll, we'll never back down, I guess. It's got to be the new slogan. Freaking pathetic. We'll never back down. We will not relent.